Hey guys, welcome back to another Snack Time video. My name is Ben, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a network diagram with Draw.io. After I'm done showing you how to create a network diagram, I am going to show you how to set this up on your own Linux cloud server using Docker, Portainer, and Nginx Proxy Manager. So you can access a hosted version of this by just going to draw.io. And the things that you'll have access to when you first load it up are just some basic shapes that you can see on the left hand side here. If you go to File and New, there's a bunch of examples of different drawings that are already set up for you. One of the categories is Network. So we can see some really good examples of some pre-made network diagrams. And there's nothing stopping you from getting a head start by just using one of these guys. Let's click this guy right here. He looks pretty interesting. So selecting this automatically filled in our different shapes and we can expand any of these categories here. And to add anything to our network diagram, all you do is just drag and drop. You can resize it. But if you prefer Cisco diagrams a little bit more, Draw IO definitely has you covered there too. So you can add more shapes by clicking this more shapes button on the left. And now we just select which shapes we're interested in. So if we scroll down, we can see that under networking, we have a couple of different Cisco shapes. You can check both of these. And you can also preview what the shapes look like before actually loading them up into uh, your software. So if this looks good, just hit apply. You'll now have access to all the different Cisco shapes. And again, it's just drag and drop. And say we want to add another lightning bolt here, we can do a copy and paste. Let's take this little pointer and let's link them to this icon. We can take this pointer here and we can link them to this floppy disk. That way, if we ever move the floppy disk, our little lightning bolt's gonna follow. As well as if we decide to move the router here, these are already linked. Very cool, huh? So what's totally mind blowing for me is that this is completely open source. Like you could just use this if you wanted to, and that's nothing wrong with that, but you can also self host it, which I can't wait to show you how to do that. Let me show you a couple more things in here and then we'll move on to the self hosted. One question you may be asking is how do you save these files? Well, there's a couple of different ways we can do it. We can go to file and we can export it if we want to into PNG, JPEG, uh, PDF, HTML. We can also save it. So if we go to Save As, we're presented with a couple of different options. I can use my Google Drive. I can use OneDrive, Dropbox, GitHub. What's really awesome is if you do save it on one of these shared storage services, you can also collaborate with other people, which means they can have the same drawing open at the same time as you, and you can see each other's changes. Now I am going to address one very important feature that I know all of you are asking yourself right now. Does it have a dark mode? You're in luck. It does. So I know that I said the next thing was going to show you how to self hosted, but one more thing I want to show you. If we go to file and new, do yourself a favor, check out all the other drawings that draw.io is capable of doing more than just networking. It can do software diagrams, it can do wireframe. It can also do floor plans. Pretty much anything that you can think of that requires a drawing program, this guy can pretty much handle it. I have yet to see anything that he can't. If you want to see some of the other stuff that it can do, even the stuff that's not in the template library, check out their website. Like I even found how you can plan your server cabinets with this software. Very cool stuff for you guys that have server racks that you need to manage. Okay, I've stalled long enough. Let me show you how to self-host this guy. First thing that we want to do is find the GitHub page. So let's head off to Google and let's type in draw IO GitHub. And it's this very first one here by JGraph. I'm going to click on this. Once you're on this page, let's scroll down a little bit. And we can run this in several different ways. You can see that they do have a desktop version. Uh, for now, I'm going to pick the recommended Docker project. 
So let's scroll down until we find the Docker command. Here it is. And like with previous videos, we're not going to deploy it this way. We are going to use Portainer. So I am going to pick apart this command a little bit. Let's open up our Portainer. All right, and once we've signed into Portainer, there is a couple things that I want to do before deploying our container. I do want to create a new network. So I'm going to networks and I'm going to pick a subnet that's not in use, which looks like 19 is available. So I'm going to create a new network. I'm going to call this draw IO. I'm going to paste my subnet here. And I'm going to change this to 19. Create network. And now I'm going to containers. And I want to add a new container. I'm going to call it draw IO. And if we go back to our GitHub, let's see what information we need. First off, it's asking us for the location in Docker Hub. So I'm going to copy this last line here. I'm going to paste this in here. Then I'm going to add colon latest so that I'm always pulling the latest version of the software. Let's go back to our command. So if we look at our command, Portainer's handling most of this for us. It's going to run it. We've already named it. And we're not going to specify ports since we're going to be having Nginx handle all the traffic for us. So I think we're almost ready to deploy this container. The only thing we have to do is make sure that it's on the right network. We scroll down and we click on networks. We'll drop down the network name and we'll find draw.io. And now let's deploy this container. All right, our container has been successfully deployed. We're on a separate network. Uh, now we just need to configure Nginx Proxy Manager. But before we do that, we do need to pick a subdomain to redirect to Nginx Proxy Manager. So let's open up Namecheap since that's where our domain's hosted. Just like before, let's head on over to Advanced DNS. All right, now we're under Advanced DNS. I do need to pick my subdomain. Let's go with Draw.io. So I'm gonna hit Add New Record. I'm going to select a record. I'm going to type in my subdomain, draw IO. And I want to point it to the IP address of my server, which is up here. I already have that specified. And I'm going to save all changes. Now we need to hit up our Nginx proxy manager. All right, now that we've signed in, let's click on proxy hosts. We have one that's already in here. Let's add another. And we're going to give it our full domain that we've already set up in Namecheap, which is going to be our subdomain, which is drawio.sinhow.com. All right, now it's asking where do we want it to go to inside of Docker. I'm going to go back to Portainer, and I'm going to pull the container name, which is drawio. I'm going to paste it in here. And if we go back to our GitHub, we can check out those ports. Looks like 8443, it's probably encrypted, or 8080. I'm going to go with 8080 because I don't need to encrypt something that's already going to be encrypted by Nginx Proxy Manager. So I'm going to type in 8080. I'm going to do my usual block common exploits, enable WebSocket support, and I'm going to hit save. I'm not quite done yet. I do want to encrypt my traffic, so I'm going to go under the three periods for draw IO. Hit edit. I'm going to go to SSL. Drop this down and request a new SSL certificate with Let's Encrypt. I'm going to force SSL and I'm going to agree to the terms of service. All right, guys, we are almost ready to go. The last thing we need to do is to make sure that Nginx Proxy Manager is joined to the same network so it can pass that traffic successfully. So back at Portainer, let's click on the Nginx app one. Let's scroll to the bottom of the page and find networks. Drop this down to join a network and we're going to join our draw IO network and hit join. All right, we should be ready to go. Let's click on Nginx proxy manager and I'm going to click on the link up here. And there we go. So one thing that you'll notice when we finish setting up our server is you only have the option to save on your device. It's not to say that you can't integrate it with Google and OneDrive. However, it does require a little bit of API work with Google and Microsoft, which is beyond the scope for this video. 
However, I'll point you in the direction of the documentation on how to accomplish this. Once you have set up your APIs and you need to add these environmental variables, the only thing you have to do is copy the text here, go back to Portainer, and go under the container for draw IO. And once you're in here, click duplicate and edit, and you'll be presented with the same screen that you had when you first set it up. And one of the tabs at the bottom is ENV. And this is where you'll be able to add extra environmental variables. Once you have set those variables, you'll simply click deploy the container and hit replace. Once again, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.